Hello and welcome to Verbal to Visual. Today I want to share with you a preview of sketchnoting in the classroom, a resource kit that I'm building for educators who want to bring visual note taking into their classroom and share this skill with their students. What you're about to see is the first video that teachers are encouraged to play in their classroom so that students get a feel for what the series as a whole will look like and what they'll learn from it. So take a look. Hello and welcome to Sketchnoting in the Classroom. My name is Doug Neal. I will be your host throughout this series, and I wanted to kick things off by letting you know what we'll be up to. First, let's talk about that word sketchnoting, which might be new to you. Sketchnoting is a form of note-taking, hence the noting part of it. But as you might guess, it involves bringing more visuals into the process compared to typical note-taking, hence the sketch part. The whole idea behind adding sketches to your notes is that it taps into parts of your brain that would lie dormant if you only use words to explore ideas. It's the combination of the two that's most powerful, using both words and visuals while taking notes. That's what will fully light up your brain. What's nice about sketchnoting is that it's not a strict format. It doesn't say you have to take notes this way. Instead, it presents you with a variety of tools for you to choose from and create your own customized note-taking process, one that works well with your learning style and your personality. So for the doodlers out there, your notes might be heavy on the sketches. For those who prefer working with words, you might stick mostly to that, but maybe bring in some diagrams here and there to help you organize those words. And there's plenty of room for everyone in between those two ends of the spectrum. So most of what we'll be doing in this series is introducing you to a variety of note-taking tools and letting you experiment as you combine them in different ways to help you take better notes in class, study better outside of class, plan and projects more effectively, and ultimately become better at working with and presenting ideas. Those are skills that are never going to go out of style, which is part of the reason your instructor decided to bring me into your classroom in this way. Speaking of, I wanted to point out that this thing here is going to be a collaboration between me and your instructor and you all. I'll be introducing lots of ideas to you in this video format, but at the end of these, I'll be handing the mic back to your instructor who will let you know what sort of follow-up activity you'll do to build on and apply what you learned in the video lesson. Let's now get a quick overview of what sorts of things we'll be exploring in those video lessons. I've broken things down into three parts. Part one will focus on individual sketchnoting skills. These will be the tools that make up your note-taking toolkit. You'll learn how to use handwritten fonts, arrows, stick figures, icons, colors, and many other things that will make your notes more dynamic and more useful. Part two will focus on specific sketchnoting processes. Here we'll start to look at how you can combine the individual tools from part one into a cohesive note-taking process. We'll explore things like flowcharts and mind maps and other ways to get ideas out of your head and onto the page. Part three will explore how to apply your growing sketchnoting skills to specific subject areas so that you know what tools and processes work best in science class compared to language arts class, compared to math class, and many others. As you explore those different parts, as you watch these videos, and as you tackle the follow-up activities, keep in mind the goal here, for you to find a way of working with ideas that's best suited to your learning style and your personality. My hope here is that the core note-taking skills that you'll be learning and applying via this series are skills that you'll carry with you so that no matter what challenges you face in the future, be it in another school environment or at a particular job or even with your own personal projects, you'll have this creative sketchnoting toolkit to pull from to help you tackle those challenges. So let's start building those tools. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.
I hope you enjoyed that preview. If you like what you saw in it, be sure to check out more details about this resource kit at verbaltovisual.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again in a future video soon.